Crazy is a word you ha often hear when you say you're going to run for the U.S. Senate. Crazy. I had the good fortune of meeting Frank Sinatra when I was a kid. I'm a singer, as many of you may know normally. I'll always be a singer. But crazy is a dismissive word. It's a word that avoids a conversation. And although this may not be a popular thing to say because no other candidate is saying it, and I am a Democrat who voted for the president, but I personally would have rejected his endorsement in protest of signing the Monsanto Protection Act. Last night, Vermont became the first state to get in the game, passing a law that says, not unless you label it GMO. It's the first state in the nation that said, not in, not in this state. And Hawaii should have been the first state that said, if you're going to genetically modify our food that's on our table, we need to know about it because this law was written by Monsanto itself and then signed by the president. So if their genetically modified food kills you, you can't sue them. You can sue a tobacco company if you want, but you can choose to smoke cigarettes. You cannot choose to eat. And I personally believe that's something that's very important. Secondly, it doesn't matter about Obamacare. It doesn't matter about what health care you have if the hospitals suck. You can fill in this country two baseball stadiums worth of the bodies, two baseball stadiums of bodies of people who have died due to the, due to the negligence in hospitals in this country. My mother was one of those people and is the reason I'm standing here before you. She went in to have knee surgery and put her in an unmonitored recovery room knowing she had sleep apnea where she choked to death a year and a half ago. Just recently, a woman goes to the dentist and ends up in a coma. Where's the oversight? The Joint Commission overlooking these hospitals, where are they? I mean, I see these pictures of candidates smiling and I'm wondering what they're smiling about. Because these are very important things. It doesn't matter what the minimum wage is if you're not alive to work. You know, it, it's insanity to me. And these two things, as Democrats, we need to get behind this. We cannot allow any company, any company, to write their own laws that our president then signs. It just seems completely ridiculous to me. Then you have hospitals here in Hawaii that are raided by a company called the Leapfrog Group who never even step foot into the hospital they rate. Instead, they send a questionnaire to the hospitals that they answer themselves, mail it back with a check, and that's the rating they get, an A, which the hospital then has the audacity to promote in its advertising as being A-rated. So in conclusion, let no one control you. It's very important. If you give me this opportunity, 80% of my salary will be deducted from my check. I will not make money to run for these kinds of reasons. Before I ever see a penny, 80% of my check will be deducted and donated to charity. I want to thank everybody for listening to me, and I hope you will consider what I'm saying. It's very important. I agree with a lot of what the governor said, but the most important thing in my life and your life is what you eat and the health care that you get, regardless of your insurance. There needs to be more oversight. This dentist had numerous complaints against him prior to this happening. What happened? Who dropped the ball on that? Elect me as your next U.S. Senator, 
and I will see to it that Hawaii is no longer a postcard. Thank you.